here i have executed the command em list postgres start and it is giving me the error that means em is not working properly and giving me error error is error during downloading the metadata for repository dbd upstream that means dbd upstream repository is not working and it is giving me the error also if we read could not read a file colon slash slash file for file colon triple slash media iso upstream slash repo data slash repo mode xml that means em is unable to read the repo mode xml file from the path media iso upstream repo data that means this path is not available so in this video we will try to understand this error and we will try to fix this error now what we will do we will check the path if it is available or not use the cd command You can see no such file or directory. That means this path is not available. That's why it is giving me the error. If you can remember, in my last video, I have shown you how to configure a local repository using the DBD ISO image. And in this server, I have configured a EM repository using the DBD ISO image. And this repository or repo file is not working properly and giving me the error. So, friends, if you have not watched that video, please go to my playlist and watch that video as well so that. It will be easy to understand this video. Now, as I told you, I have configured a local repository using the ISO image, and that ISO image is not working properly, or the ISO image is not mounted. That's why this path is not available. Now, the df h command, you can see db is not mounted. That's why this path is not available. Now, what we'll do? Take the repo file, and the command is bi slash etc yum.repos.d this is the default path for the all repo files then repo repo file name rhl.repo you can see two repositories are configured here one is dbd base os and another is dbd upstream and the path is file colon repos media iso base os this is the path and this path should be available now exit without saving use the cd command then path you can see media iso basis is not available and as i told you i have uh, mounted the dvd iso image on media iso and that mount point is not available here now what we will do we will mount the iso image again for that use the command blk id you can see dvd iso is the slash gbsr0 now mount it using the mount command Slash media ISO now db hyphen h sorry df hyphen h you can see uh, ISO image is mounted on media slash ISO now again check the path you can see path is available go to repo data you can see repo mode XML is available now check the yum command yum list Postgres star. You can see the repository started working and it is giving me the available Postgres packages. So, yum command started working with this error is fixed. But one thing we need to remember we have mounted the ISO image manually, and whenever I will reboot the VM, this mount point will disappear. And again, my EM repository started giving me the error. So I need to fix this error as well. For that, what I have to do, I have to give a mount point entry in FSTAP because FSTAP is the configuration file where we can give a mount point entry so that it will be mount the mount point automatically whenever the VM is rebooted or restarted. So what we will do, we will give a mount point entry in class FSTAP. Go to the end of the file. Here slash db slash sr zero slash media slash iso. Then please remember this one. You can see all other files uh, given the XFS that is the partition format. But in case of dvd image, we have to give the iso nine six six zero. 
then given space, then loop, then arrow, then auto, if given, given space, then 0.0, 0 and save the configuration file. Now, take the configuration file using the mount a command. It will check the FH of configuration file. If there are some error in uh, mount point entry, it will display here. But if no output is coming, that means my uh, mount point entry is perfectly fine and uh, all parameters are okay. Now, what we will do? We will unmount the mount point using the command u m o u n t u mount then path you can see e w d i am in media iso basis that's why it is giving me error go to slash and now execute the unmount command use d5 and s you can see dbd mount point is not here now check the command mount hyphen a to mount the mount point automatically sorry dfnh you can see dbd iso is mounted on media slash iso now check the path if the path is available or not you can see path is available now check the yum command yum clean all you will clean all the yum uh, history now use the yum list star you can see yum command working properly in this video we have learned how to fix the yum repository error and how to use the fs tab to mount the iso image automatically after reboot of the server if this video is helpful for you please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like share and comment thanks for watching